Hello everyone and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today we will cover a troubleshooting method to understand silent packet drop on a Juniper SRX firewall. We will use this diagram in the example where 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 is continuously trying to reach 1.1.1.1 without any luck. In this diagram the SRX firewall is the default gateway. However, the user behind the laptop complains it cannot reach the server. We have already conducted a quick analysis on the firewall and it doesn't show any security policy drop. So at this stage, a debug is required on the SRX firewall to understand the behavior. Let's get on the shell and see what's going on. I am now in the SRX console. Let's first have a look if an existing session is active for this client to serve a communication. I will use the show security flow session command for this purpose. Obviously, the first packet from the client never reached the server. Otherwise, we will have a session visible with this command. Now, the only solution for us at this stage is to proceed with a debug, also known as trace in Junos. This is done at the configuration level and can be achieved with the following command. First of all, we go in configuration mode with the command configure. Then we enable the trace option with a edit security flow trace option. And at this level, there are exactly three knobs we need to enable. Number one is the file where we want to save the debug output and also the maximum size of this file. Number two, the flag which basically defines the processing step we are interested in. And we use basic data path here. It means we want to capture information during packet processing in the stateful inspection engine. And finally, number three, which is very important if you don't want to run into performance problem. You must be as specific as possible when doing this debug. So I will include the source and destination of my flow here. And once this is done, you can commit. I have just cleared my screen and we are now going to investigate the content of this debug file with the operational command file show, followed by the exact path of the debug file and see if we can spot something. A lot is going on right here because we basically dumped the entire processing of a packet in the firewall engine. However, two important things are catching my eyes here. First, the packet IP header information at the top with the correct source and destination IP. So at least I know my traffic is hitting the firewall. Now, if you look closely at the bottom of the output, you might even see what happened to this packet. Packet drop, no route to destination. So apparently this is a routing issue. Let's confirm this with a show route followed by our destination IP. And it is obvious here that this packet has not a single chance to reach its destination. A route to the internet is missing and the packet is silently dropped. Even if you are dealing with firewalls, don't forget that routing is key. This kind of scenario is tricky because the packet does not even get the chance to hit the security rules. So you won't see any security logs about this drop. It's completely silent. Unless, of course, you know those debug command. I hope you enjoyed the video and please share and subscribe if you liked it.